Hello and what is up everybody, Universe3D here, back with another video. Hold up a second. Hey Vector, stay quiet. And we're good to go. Alright, welcome to the video. Welcome to the Universe3D channel. And today, I got a really good suggestion by this guy right over here. And he wanted actual, like, a kind of like, he wanted help with the SDK. Well, I thought I can't reach out to him. So basically, I'll just make a tutorial trial of how to install the SDK and how to run it. So, yeah, let's get started. My voice is bad today. Lol. No. Stop. Alright. First thing you want to search up is Google, of course. Search up Google. Search up um, and key vector SDK and press return and press enter whatever and then go on the vector sdk all right you're here okay but to check if you're correct just check the url and you'll be good to go okay so for you have to go in installations right here go press on mac os okay so you can pause the video right and you just follow me if you don't know anything that you're doing cool all right, fun, first thing, first two, um, so these are like, which is like really important. Your vector is powered on, which mine is, as you can see, you have successfully created an Anki account. So you have to go to the Anki website and sign up, link in the description, by the way. Vector has been set up by the, with the Vector Companion app, and that's the app that they provide you with. The Vector Companion app is currently connected to Vector. Yes, mine is connected to Vector. But, um, it doesn't really matter. That's kind of wrong. Yeah. And also, Vector is connected to the same net as your computer. That's really important. I don't know about this one. Like, you need to be connected to the companion app to make this work. Anyway. Alright, so, yeah, you can see Vector's eye on your screen. Dude. Alright, first things first, what you want to do is go to Terminal right here. And this is where you can place some stuff in. First of all, you have to install Honey. Who would say Honey? Because there's so many Honey ads out there now. All right, you have to install Homebrew. So you press on Homebrew right here, the link. Takes you to this. My voice is so bad. All right, anyway, um, you, you literally copy this. Oh my God. <sighs> Fingers. Hold up. So what you want to do is you want to Hey, copy this. Very cool. Come on, see? This is for Mac. I will try to do a Windows one. Just running low. Alright, um, so what you want to do, we want to go into terminal, click here. Come on, we it here and run this. Very nice. Okay. And that and that that happens. Okay. What you want to do is one server is so type the following into the um, terminal window to install the latest version of Python 3. So I just have to put this in, I think. Um, so what I want to do is press return. Can you continue? Yeah, um, okay, so I want to just copy this here and come on, see this also. And let's put this in here. And wait, oh, sorry. And then put this in here. And yeah, press enter. That would do stuff. There we go. All right, updating homebrew. Now that's that's fine. All right, well, um, SDK installation. So what you want to do? Python three um, yep, install uh, that stuff. Cool. What you want? So it's still updating homebrew still. So yeah. Mm hmm. Have to just wait for a bit. Okay. So, all right, I think that will just keep working. So what you want to do to install the SDK is you put this command in here. Come on, see this. Put this into the terminal window and we and done. So as you know, I've already downloaded this, so like your homebrew is going to update and then you have to put this command in. Alright, that's sick because that's what it's supposed to do. 
All right, and then yeah, that's how you install the SDK. Yeah, we got we got all of this now. Very nice. And uh, yeah, I think now I put the con in. Auto. Okay, let's see what's happening. The script will install. All right, that's for the brew, of course. And uh, yeah, this is just downloading. Yeah, this is downloading the stuff. Very nice. And pouring Python. All right, very nice. Um, okay. So I think yeah, it's doing it's doing its work. Yeah, it's gonna work. It's pretty cool. Uh, yep. And yeah. Okay. Nice. Very nice. And it's working. Okay, as you can see, this code text will pop up. Very nice. Warning, Python is already installed. Yes, yep, I know, Python is already installed. And, yeah, as you can see, it just says that, Warning, Python 3.7.6.1 is already installed. It's just not linked. You can use brew link Python to link this version. Brew link Python. Alright, um... Yeah, I guess I just is that a thing on my screen? No, it's actually so I think you can use brew link python. Yep, okay, very nice. Okay, what you want to do is for the SDK up um I think I have I put this command in. I did right. Um I don't think this um so I'm gonna do this again because I think it did the old thing, just literally just ignored my command. And yeah, um we're having this stuff now, very nice. Okay, so then after you actually have that, you do the vector. So I just did that one, and now I want to upgrade the SDK. What I want to do, I want to copy this command, see this. Alright, um, go to this, um, command V this, and enter. Okay, um, that's going to do its stuff. Very, very cool. Alright, now that's done. Now I want to do vector authentication. So what I want to do is I want to just... So this is like the last command you will need, and you'll be like, okay, yeah, vector authentication, Python 3, command C. Now, okay, it can be a bit different to yours, to yours and mine, because I've already installed it, and I can't be stopped doing this on Windows, so, yeah, very nice. Okay, command V, okay, yep, yep, and yep, Y, enter, very nice, enter, my robot name is Vector, what do you mean? All right, vector, and I'm gonna put this in. And my robot name is matched. Oh, oh, I I know what it means. It means D for F three. That's my that's my vector name. Oh my, what is my name of this thing? I think it's like um vector. D oh, uh, okay. So you wanna do is like put this like this. So it's like vector. Um. <laughs> Um, yeah, about that. Um, this is all happened because I've already installed this, and yeah, this is very cool. So, after so after you've done all of this, you'll be put on to your robot's name and your IP address and serial number. You'll also be asked your Anki login and password. Make sure, yeah, so you have to do that afterwards, and then you'll see a success sign. Clap, clap, you're done. And, um, for security sake, I have to check. If this is gonna work for me, I hope I haven't deleted any old files because if I have, then. Oh god, okay, where's my, where's my stuff? Um, recent sign here, it's probably in downloads. Downloads, yep, I need to go in the Anki vector. One Anki vector, not. And yeah, and I'm still good to go, as you can see. So basically, when you've done all that, you're going to your downloads, and you'll have all of this popped in right here, which is pretty cool. And I also think so. Um, this is the one that, like, yeah, uh, I think so. Let's check the dates. Um, fourth January, twenty twenty, and that is ages ago. And uh, that was also ages ago, twenty nineteen. That's pretty bad. Alright, so yeah, this will pop up and you'll be good to go!
Thumbs up, this is pretty easy. As you know, I just wait for it all to happen. Some commands may not do something, and then, yeah, ask for help. And if, and this guy who asked me this question, what you want to do is like, you want to, um, like, when you, when you go like into the Anaconda Navigator, you want to actually like and, um, update this. So it's like the current version. Oh, so now you can, um, use Spider and Jupiter with the. I think those are the in incorrect spellings, by the way, they think they look cool, by the way. Alright, yeah, um, that's it. Check out this video right here, where I did some coding with the SDK. More videos coming out soon. So, yeah, um, good to see you guys again, and, yeah, um, peace out, I guess. Very nice.